all right hello everyone and peace of christ to all of you please invite your friends this is a short video i just uh I receive a video from somebody saying um, about David Wood leaving YouTube and uh, I watched the video actually um, David Wood in his video he says that Muslims are flagging his uh, channel and uh, Twitter ban him in Twitter so he's expecting his channel to be down and he said he will go and work in making books which is good actually I encourage him to make books but you know I mean so what if a Muslim they flag you even if the Muslims they take down your videos or they take down your channel or they take down YouTube I mean make a new account <laughs> what a big deal <laughs> anyway you see actually the Muslims always when they do that that's mean you are doing a good you know a good job they will not target somebody he is not doing a good job so this is a you know a, nobody throw rocks at the tree have no fruits you know what I mean? rocks are thrown at you for a reason so what a big deal I mean if I am if I am him I would not really uh, stop making let, let the Muslims flag my videos all of it and take the channel down I have I have already a hundred channel backup for <laughs> ready for <laughs> you know and they are saying they will fly, like they will uh, try to stop donation for him so what I mean we do that they will receive donation or we don't still we do it uh, this is a sign of victory not a sign of defeat however if he is really he want to do make books that maybe the muslims are helping you uh to give more time for something maybe more important to make uh, to make books that's good so more people will read and they will learn about the cult of islam so in either way actually the muslims are helping us you know the muslims let me tell you how the muslims they help me it was the muslims who made me write books about islam the muslim they said to me if you are really a scholar in Islam, how come you never heard that you have a book? So I wrote books. It was Muslims who introduced me to a program. It's called Pal Talk. They said to me, if you are a man, come and debate us in this program. So I went there. It was the Muslims who introduced me to YouTube. Otherwise, I never really used YouTube. I don't even know how to use it. So Muslims always help us. And that should be uh, how it works. Uh, when, when you do... A good job and your job became successful uh, that's mean and they are making them upset uh, and they accuse you of hate speech I mean the, the uh, a Muslim speaking about hate speech your prophet he said in the Quran that Allah was spread hate and enmity between the Christians until judgment day what about to report Allah for hate speech what about Muhammad saying that Muslim should kill all the Jews in the world you know, I'm almost them talking about hate speech. That's I will find this is funny, but anyway, this is how they play. You know, they knew uh, this is the only way they can stop you, and they knew that uh, those media are owned by the liberals, and they are you know liberals. What you can say, however, we we will not let them win. Uh, flag my videos, take down my channels. We will have a hundred channels after this the same day you flag it you take it down who okay. cares? do you know how many channels I lost already endless I don't even count I don't know how many so it doesn't matter really flag you they take you down they ban you who care you come back <laughs> actually I noticed that when the Muslims they go and they make videos says go and attack this guy they are making a, a promotion for you maybe you do not notice that because a person he never heard of you maybe until now because of those people even they are small or big doesn't matter like this guy who played your his video is a potato but it doesn't matter I mean they promote us by attacking us they promote us we hit the head of the snake that is the hate teaching of Islam we don't attack Muslims we talk about we don't, we don't talk about Muslims and we have nothing to do with the Muslims our topic is this cult this teaching this book this religion not the Muslim Muslims are poor people they have no idea even what is written in their book and when you ask them a question they have no idea how to answer so uh, my friend I, this is my advice to David Wood if I am you I will not really stop making videos okay you didn't say you are busy making uh, books I make a video once a week five minutes ten minutes you know and the Muslims uh, take down your uh, by flagging you and uh, YouTube take their side okay make a new channel who care 
<laughs> you will find people subscribe second day after five minutes just make a video in a channel uh, you know uh, uh, and any channel people knows I mean popular channels and there's many that will help you just make a video says hey guys this is my new channel and you will see people will be there in in, in, in five minutes who care <laughs> it's like it's like shooting at the Mirage they cannot shoot at you they cannot stop you but I understand maybe he is uh, you know uh, uh, he need to take a break from this garbage and you know he as he said he have a family he have five children and two of them they need special care so yeah actually good for you I mean if this is what uh, what uh, what is making it better for you but don't let the Muslims uh, make you change the way you do things and I think this is what he decided to do uh, yeah he said to himself well and I'm going to uh, let me make some books and which is good you know books will go to gener generations to come and he can give it more effort and actually me myself I can you know like uh, if I am not coming in YouTube I will be able to fix to finish uh, I'm working right now in three books in the same time one of them is the Quran translation so if I am not coming in YouTube that time will be given all of it so you see the Muslims they are helping you actually you see the Muslims maybe they think they are banning you but the fact they are helping you you go and you make a books and then books will be published and millions of people read it so they think they are fighting you the fact they are fighting themselves abdul who is saying go and flag his videos it's a stupid channel youtube who care <laughs> actually you see I, there is a guy who is a smart guy his name is shabir ali shabir ali he bought my books but he never attacked my books do you know why the answer is very simple if he attacked my books he knew that he will make my books more popular see there is a there is a smart Abdul and there's a funny Abdul Shabir Ali he bought my books he read them he never mentioned a word against my books because he knew the second he attack it it is the same second he promote it and he's smarter than the rest of the Abdul so I encourage all the Muslims to attack Christian Prince and David Wood and Sam Shamoon and you name it you know the whole list because that is the end of the day is for our benefit especially when it's come to writing books and I hope he will finish whatever book he's working and he did not say what books he's working in uh, me myself I'm working in three books right now and maybe maybe uh, uh, if uh, if my channel stop down I will take a break for some time so I can finish my one of my books for uh, faster you know uh, right now uh, we have my book my, we have four books translated to many languages and actually the Spanish book by the way is already published but we have difficulty with Amazon trying to fix it they publish it in the wrong place so we stop uh, that until they fix it uh, so I mean God is good and if not the Muslims I will not have a book right now and I'm telling you, it was a Muslim idea that Christian Prince should write books. They said to me, well, if you are a scholar and look like you know a lot, so how come you didn't have a book? Not even one. So I said to myself, I think this is a sign. The Lord Almighty, he is using the Abdul to speak to me and to say to me, see, this is something is needed. And actually, you believe it or not, most of people who buy my books are Muslims, including Shabir Ali, as you see. I mean, why in the world Shabir Ali is buying my books? You know what I mean? <laughs> because he wants to learn. He wants to learn about the God who wants to spread hatred between the Christians. Right? Uh, because, you know, what? when Muslims, they speak to uh, someone like me. How, how many times you heard the Muslims saying, we never heard this before? How many times? Each time we speak to a Muslim, they say, oh, I never heard this before. Where you get this from? So the Muslims, they read our books because they never heard this before. We never heard it before. So I encourage them. You see, how many times you heard me saying, saying to the Muslims, I challenge you to post my videos in your channel. You can attack me there too because that will work for our benefit at the end of the day. The flagging our videos my friend will not change the fact that we are being victorious 
you take a channel down we will have 1,000 you know how many channels is uh, having videos of Christian Prince I mean it's endless and you shut down one they will they will uh, we will open 10 and 20 and 30 and 40 so it's a game and you know the nature of the game I understand maybe some people don't have time for this stupid game right when I'm releasing uh, I need to take more time. Maybe I should take a break from YouTube, as uh, David Wood he said. Uh, I'm working on it, you know, and uh, you know I just want to be sure the translation is perfect, and I am making my translation different from the translation you see. You see here, the translation is in the order of the Book of Uthman, the Quran you see in the front of you. This is not really. There's no Quran actually. There's not. There's not. No, the book is called Quran. The one we have. It is what Muslims they claim that it is from uh, Uthman ibn Affan, but they don't have the book of Uthman. Nobody have it, you know, not even single page of it. So uh, they have a recitation of a guy. His name is Hafs. So this is according to recitation of Hafs, which is a person who exists more than two hundred years after Muhammad. Recitation, not a book. All right. So I'm taking my time to finish it, uh, you know, carefully, and uh, we want to do it right. All right, uh, but uh, it's going to finish. It's going to be finished. Maybe the Muslim can help us if they flag our uh, YouTube and take the channel down. That will give me a time to finish it faster. <laughs> always, always things work for our benefit. It's not as they wish. You might you might think you are fighting him the guy there yeah David Wood but the fact you are maybe uh, uh, giving him better opportunity and here we go he's going to write a book for you are you happy now praise be to Allah this is going to sound like bad news but it's probably good news after I was banned from Twitter someone sent me a video of a Muslim apologist who's been telling his view. I'm not going to play this video of this guy. He's an idiot. He's such a joker. Potato guy. ...on any of the platforms that I'm on. So he's actually telling his viewers to false flag my content. His story actually, he is not only telling people to do that. He is saying this is the, the way you can harm him. So this guy is asking people to harm you. If I am you, you should report him to the police for asking people to harm you. Because maybe some people will harm you, thinking about harming you in YouTube, but some Muslims might think about harming you uh, physically, because this is what he said in his video. This is the way you can harm him. So this guy is asking people to harm you. So if I am him, David, would actually he should call the police for him, and they should investigate him, and maybe you have a case against him. Uh, you know, uh, 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 he he live in America asking people to harm an individual it doesn't matter what the harm is that is not legal and he used in his video the word harm he said this is the way you can harm him all right he used the word harm so a person who is teaching people to harm somebody he can be taken to court hmm? so if i am you uh you know, you should report him for saying that. Uh, any human being asking somebody to harm somebody, that is illegal and this is a crime. <clears throat> and doesn't matter what the harm is. You know, he can claim that I'm, I'm asking to harm you only by flagging YouTube. Uh, but that is not really what is behind this harm. Because you are asking a certain group of people do not know this guy, just because he is a Christian, he speaks against Islam to be harmed. Now, you are claiming you want to harm him in YouTube or in Patreon, but what is the guarantee that your message of harming him is going to stay there? You are asking for a harm, and that is a crime by itself. So if somebody knows uh, David Wood, talk to him and ask him, maybe he should uh, take him to court. You know? Uh... CP Min, the guy David were talking. About. Yeah, I'm talking about the idiot who is asking the Muslims to flag him. So I, I actually, if I am, I, if I am you, I will, you know, you can report him for committing a crime, teaching uh, not only teaching hate, he is teaching, he is requesting harm in you. 
he's saying it clearly I want you all to go and harm him you know and that is a big problem this is a very bad problem if uh, David would want to use the law against this person uh, Martin had that nobody says David Wood is an idiot. Are you stupid or what? You come at the end of the topic and you think I'm saying he's an idiot. I'm talking about the one who was in the video the video he played uh, I mean even people they answer you in the text is still you repeat the same question Why I want to say that I'm here to say to David Wood that you should take advantage of this actually and uh, use it for your benefit. It's really good. And if I am you, you know, you call uh, call the police for this guy. He have it in video. He posted in his channel and by his face, by his voice, saying asking people to go and harm you. Yes, he is saying uh, flag him, flag him, huh? But because they cannot reach you by hand. This guy is teaching violence and teaching hate against an individual. This is a crime in USA. You cannot go and say, hey, I want you to go and harm this guy, no matter how you do it. Even if it's just, uh, uh, you know, he's saying, this is how you can harm him. This is what he said. This is how you can harm him. By making such a statement, you just claimed your goal. Your goal is to harm this guy. Asking a specific group of religion, to harm a specific group or people from a religion who they are Christians just because they are speaking against Islam. This is what you are doing. So, uh, so if I am David, you know, I will, I will, uh, you know, he can, uh, he can uh, call a lawyer and see what he, what he can do about this. Uh, <clears throat> you know, and uh, again. You see, like they are flagging him without even knowing who is this guy. <laughs> but if if you ask me, I mean, this is a very good sign. I mean, go and flag him. Go and flag him. This is how you can harm him. That's mean they are desperately angry from you because you are doing a good job. So if I am him, I will not stop making videos. You know, or maybe I will make a video maybe once a week if you are busy working a book. Okay, maybe once every ten days. We make three videos a month. I mean, in your break time, all right? Like make a, a cup of coffee and speak to people who like to hear you. Never, never, never give them a chance, my friend. And we have thousands channels. If this channel go down now, I will open after five minutes a new channel. I had, I had them ready. You know, I'm, I'm ready for that. <laughs> After five uh, after less than 30 seconds, I can start broadcasting different place. You close that one, we have another one. So we are, we are, uh, you know, we know, we know what the game, I mean, we know we are targeted for what reason. And the reason we are targeted for is a good reason. That's good for us, right? So don't make them make you disappointed and, uh, like sometimes, you know, the only way for me, I will stop coming to YouTube if I see the Christians, they are not really, they don't care. Then I will go and just work in my books, which means at the end of the day, it's going to be for my benefit, you know? Uh, I was working in the book, Sex and Allah for long, right? And it's it taking really time, I mean, to finish it. But then I said to myself, let me take a break from YouTube. And yes, I finished the book really fast. I was able to complete the book in less than 30 days you know 30 days which is wonderful you know i mean uh, uh, not finishing the book in 30 days i mean complete because i was working from before so it was really good and uh, uh, which means yes i agree that taking a break from such a from youtube youtube take too much time etc uh, can help you to concentrate because you know when you open youtube it's not you know writing it's not just something you do like right away. Okay, I want to cook now. You have to be ready, uh, your mood ready, you are relaxed. I mean, it's uh, writing is different. Writing, you have to be in the mood of writing. And even if you have a lot of knowledge, you know, your knowledge is there, but writing is a different story, you know? So, uh, you know, take, uh, take, you know, maybe you can finish a book in a month, and then the Muslims, Abdul, will be more upset from you. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I mean, look, if the Muslims ban me from YouTube, I will be able to finish maybe 10 books like Six in Allah with more details. <laughs> if you go and see Six in Allah, how many people they are reading this book, you will not believe it. I mean, even the name is very interesting. People, they ask me, the name is so straightforward. I mean, don't, shouldn't you make it, uh, you know? I said, no, 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 no. I say it as it is. This is about sex and Allah. So why I want to call it something else? You know what I mean? Why I want to call it something else? Uh, the same as the book, The Deception of Allah. They said to me, don't you think this is like a very harsh name? I said, but this is what the book is about. Deception of Allah. That's it. So we, we take always, you know, the Muslims help us without knowing. So now if this guy he you know he don't want to do YouTube no more and then after four weeks from now he come with a book about Islam are you happy Muslims okay good for you <laughs> a book will live forever you know the second you publish a book that's it it's it is it is uh, it, it is it's enter history you became a publisher you came you became an author and your book will be, you know, forever in, in the, in, in the, everywhere. I mean, internet and etc. That's it. I mean, it's even better. You know, video people and you know, videos. Sometimes people they don't watch a video is made like a year ago, right? But a book, people still read the book is written a hundred years ago. You know what I mean? So book is a lot more valuable actually, and it's a lot better. So they think they are fighting you, but the fact they are helping you. Good for you, my friend. I encourage the I encourage David Wood to make books. I encourage Sam Shamoon to make books. I encourage all the Christians if they have knowledge about the topic, any topic you want to you know talk about, make books. Why not? You know, and uh, trust me, uh, the devil and his kingdom they will not be able to stop us. They will not. Always, instead of stopping us, they do the opposite. Uh, all, uh, all, as I said, all the things I, I accomplished, it was because of Muslims. Muslims, they help me, and they give me ideas for doing things. Uh, by attacking me, not by, for sure, saying, hey, Christian Prince, uh, God bless you. No, this is not the topic. Uh, uh, they attack you, but when they attack you, they give you reasons to do more. Uh, for me, I talk about myself. I'm the kind if you do if you threaten me not to come to YouTube, I will come after two seconds. This is how, this is my nature. I don't know about people. You know, if you threaten me, if you come to YouTube, I will let us say I will do this to you. Okay, I will be there. You know, never threat me. Never. It doesn't work with me. Uh well, you know, David, would, uh, he's more than welcome. Actually, when they, when they ban him to go broadcast, I invite him to use my channel to broadcast without me talking, if you want. But uh, maybe he don't. Uh, he get his channel back anyway. But anyway, uh, the idea is we as a Christian, we should use the evil attack against us for our benefit. It doesn't make us weak. It makes us stronger. You know, when you get sick, one of the benefit of sickness especially if you survive the sickness right it make your body stronger whatever what they say uh, uh, things which does not kill you make you stronger right so uh, they can attack as much as they can but as long as I am stronger and stronger and stronger they're good for me it's for my benefit it's not for their benefit you know it's not for their benefit. Uh, and I hope that our books will be, uh, you know, uh, like now my, my Spanish book is going to be soon in Amazon. Uh, I'm expecting, I'm expecting that a lot of people will read this book because maybe this is the first book in Spanish exposing Islam that much, you know? So this is a v, this is going to be a very nice uh, act toward people who speak Spanish. And now there's more people translating to other languages. So things is good. And they try to stop you. Don't let them, you know.
and they will not uh, and again if uh, actually if David would he make a book you know for me I believe that everybody have his own way his own knowledge uh, support him uh, buy his book read it you know and uh, give him the support he need yeah actually I'm working more books more important than the Quran translation you know uh, but the problem is because I'm working in more than one book it's like you know I build in this room and then I go to the second room <laughs> I get bored from this book so I want to break from this topic so I go to the second room and I build there a little bit and then I go to the third room and then I go to the first room so I'm building the three in the same time so the three um, they might be close to finish in the same time almost maybe you know uh, well there is uh, there's a book I, I might call it the roots of the Quran and I think the name can tell you what it is about and there is a book about uh, the apostles of Jesus in Islam which mean most of it we will focus in who are they uh, like Paul in Islam Peter Simon Peter uh, etc so those are three books you know I'm working in them and you know um, I'm sure people will like it and at the same time I'm thinking to make uh, small books which is about certain topic like not to be I mean you know like these these days people like to have uh, uh, snack you know like I mean fast things it's not really people maybe don't have time to read a book of 300 pages or 400 pages so I might start making books too which is like maybe 50 pages which is easier to finish easier to read and is going to be cheap to order you know yeah it's like a, a pocket more than a, a pocket book you know it's like something you can put in your pocket and go in the train uh, if your trip is for two hours, by the time you finish your trip, your the book is 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 gone, is finished. Yeah. So you know, like like now, you see the video, the video I just made, fifteen minutes ago. I finished it, right? Uh, this book, this video, can we, we can make a book, a book about it? Just who is Jesus in the Islam? Just who is Jesus in Islam? And for sure, we can. You know, when you make a book, you make more details and more, uh, uh, etc. And uh, make it easier and more handy uh, to uh, to what what Islam is about and what Islam think about Jesus and you can share your own ideas in there as interpretation and explanation CP you stay in contact with the brother Amir I don't really contact too much people you know sometime with you know he texts me etc but uh, because his work in German uh, my work is in English our audience kind of different can you make handout books um, hangout books is my videos those are more popular you see this is why I say always download my videos you see I'm not working for my channel this channel means nothing for me actually you can you know take it down who care I mean, here we go. I can go right now, start working my book instead of being here. But for me, is the way to spread the knowledge, and it doesn't matter what channel. This is why we said to you, we have uh, uh, like other other channels like uh, Minds.com, which is run by conservative. It's not run by liberals. So if you subscribe to Minds.com, let us say this channel is is taken down today. Uh, now always you know where to find me you go to minds.com and you will see what is the last post I made and that will be the video channel for new the new channel even if there's no patreon you know minds it, uh, we have like there's many ways to communicate no nobody can stop us and the second people they knew where you are if you are really a person who people like to listen to you they will go after you <clears throat> Your book is not sold in South Africa, maybe because Amazon they don't have a market there. I don't know. You know, I'm not sure. Yeah, subscribe, guys, to this uh, this uh, page, Minds.com, as you see in the in the channel there in the in the link. Um, 
in case you know always it can be contact and always when I post something I post it there too All right <clears throat> Um, somebody asked me a question. Let us see. Is it true that Arabic tafsir of Dhul Qurnayn versus say the sun story comes from the Torah, uh, tafsir al baghawi and al Qurtubi? Uh, you know, uh, if they say that this is a tafsir, saying it's coming from there. And then we cannot find it there. This is even be a big problem. <laughs> you know what I mean? If if somebody says that this is coming from the Torah, and then we cannot find it in the Torah, that will make it a problem, especially if this is written long after Muhammad. Like somebody make interpretation of the Quran. Let's say it like Ibn Kathir, he make the interpretation eight hundred years after after uh, after uh, Muhammad. After Muhammad, not after Jesus, <laughs> and then we go and we found that we cannot find this story in the in the, in the Torah. That's mean. I mean, this is more even more horrible for them. Uh, you know how you can say it is there if it's not there. <clears throat> and actually, this is why you know uh, the Muhammadan people they get upset from you when you show them uh, the interpretation of their own book, because then. They cannot say it doesn't mean that you know it doesn't uh, it's, it's not really what you are talking about. So using their interpretation is very uh, very good, but remember, English interpretation have nothing to do with uh, which means the translation to English is far away from the Arabic, you know, uh, interpretation. Where are your parent Christians? Yeah, I'm born from a Christian family, but as you know, we as a Christians. We are not Christians because we are born of a Christian family. You have to be born again. You have to be a believer, not by birth. Right? Uh, <clears throat> could we use your work to make our... Well, I don't know what do you mean, uh, ant. I'm not sure what do you want, what do you mean by... <clears throat> I always encourage people to use my videos as an example. Are your book verified by myself? No, actually, my book my book is not verified by myself because there you will find the reference. That is the verification of of the claim. You know what I mean? If I say to you that uh, Muslim believe in the flying carpet and then I quote for you where it says the flying carpet is that verified by me you know what I mean guys if I show you the reference if I show you the page number if I show you even the text in Arabic it's not verified by me this is verified by them you see I don't know if you have my book or any of my books they are not me talking it is a topic with reference and I make my comments about it that's what my books are about about what if the scars change the hadith because of the information in your book they cannot it's too late it's there I mean it's impossible actually Erdogan he tried to do that you know Erdogan he had a conference in Istanbul if, uh, uh, already for conference and the purpose is to filter the hadith and simply what they want to do they want to take down all the, the the stupid hadith but it's too late you cannot here we go and the books is all over I mean the second you post something in the internet it's impossible to take it even if you are the one who posted it Let Erdogan change the Quran that the, the sperm is not coming from the back uh, bone of the man and the ribs of the women. <coughs> Chapter 39, verse number 5. Why it cannot be a miracle? Are you a Muslim, my friend? Are you a, are you a Muslim? The one is asking.
the one who's asking this is not a miracle this is a scientific mistake because here it says that each one of them go in an orbit each what the day and the night and the the Sun and the moon so Islam consider the day as an object Islam consider the day and the night are different creatures there's a day and there's a night and they are going in an orbit you know what I mean so this is not only not a miracle this is a this is a scientific stupid mistake how you can say how you can say this is a miracle when you, you are saying that the day and the night uh, oh like overlaps the day oh, the night overlaps the day and the and the day overlaps the night and uh and then and, and all of them and the sun and the moon all is running in orbit all of them what all it says here kullun kullun you see the word kull kullun yajri so the quranic claim let us go to the translation here <clears throat> remember this is a muslim translation we can change it i mean all of them they are they are, they are false you will see here it says that he he created the heaven and the earth with the truth he made the night succeed the day but that's false that's false the whole, the universe is in the state of night not in the state of a day and he makes and this is temporarily this is only in a part of the of the earth not the whole earth and then he makes the day succeed the night that's false too the night is there I mean what is the night is gone no it's not then he says and he made the day succeed the night repeating itself again and then he constructed and uh, uh, the Sun and the moon to give service each running on its orbit the word each here go back to all those before the day and the night and the moon and the Sun oh no screen sorry uh, sorry I apologize it's my mistake hold on okay hold on <clears throat> Yeah, when, when the Quran says each, you see each, each is reporting, you see, uh, uh, the last two things Allah mentioned supposedly, the moon and the sun. You don't say each. The word in Arabic is kul. Kul is for many, three and more. Unless you follow it with, with, the, with the like word, word both. The second you say kul, that's mean you are saying everything mentioned before, it is, it goes for it. So each of them, each what? Each of those, the day and the night and the sun and the moon. So look look here how Allah, he described the day, uh, uh, like uh, the day and the night, how they occur. The God of Islam uh, explains, saying supposedly, that the day and the night happened because the, 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 there's a day come and overlaps the night. But this is not true. There's nothing it's called day is coming that's simply the sun light because of the earth going around itself here in the verse Allah never mentioned the word the earth you see the earth no is no earth so who is the one is moving it is the Sun and the moon and the day and the night this is why the Quran says in different in different place actually you know what let us read the interpretation first so Muslim will not say we are making things our own uh, <clears throat> you see he says here he turned the night into a day so that grows and turned the day into a night but that's not true so that grows and he has disposed the Sun and the moon each running in his in his in his course actually there is a place uh, I need to remember what page in the Mikathir he explained clearly in Ibn Kathir that this is about the sun, the day, and the night. All of them, they run, and the moon, they run in an orbit. But in order to, uh, to understand how Muhammad think about the sun and the day, remember the hadith, right? Who, who can explain the Quran better than Muhammad? How Muhammad describe 
the sunset as an example. Do you see it? Muhammad described it that the sun set in the murky water. So in order to understand the, let us say, the science of astronomy in Islam, you have to get the whole picture. So the Quran says in chapter 18 that the sun set in the murky water too. Here, in this verse you quote from me, chapter 39, talking about an orbit of the four object, not two. You see it? The Muslims here, they try to say, oh, this is just how it appeared to the guy, uh, Dhul Qurnayn. The one who's talking here is Allah, is not Dhul Qurnayn. And you will see here Allah saying, supposedly, till when he reached the sitting place of the sun. This is another mistake. So Muhammad and Islam teach that there is a sitting place of the sun. And this is the orbit of the sun. And there's a sitting place, there's a place where the sun uh, rays too. Look, the verses, two verses after it says that this guy, he changed his road. He followed another road. Another direction, opposite direction. Till he keep going, keep going until he reach the rising place of the sun. So Islam teach that there is a rising place for the sun, which is false because sun rise everywhere. You do not need to go anywhere to see the rising of the sun. And the one is talking here is Allah, not the guy. So the Muslim, when they try to explain, they try to defend, they fabricate the answer. And here, actually, their prophet get them busted, saying clearly how the sun set in the murky water, as you see. Now. If you go back to the verse you quote for me about uh, the moon and the day and the night, they are they are going in the orbit. Uh, to explain that more too, we can go to different verse in the Quran. Allah explain how the shadow or the shade extend. The shade in Islam, according to the Quran, is an object. It's not happening because of the sun. Didn't you see how Allah, he spread the shade? Actually, it doesn't say spread, extend the shade. Let us change the translator. Hold on. So the Quran teach what? That the shade is, an, is, a, is a creature. <clears throat> if he willed, he will make it stationary. What do you mean you make that? You see, if, if, if the one who made this verse understand what the shade is, you should talk about the sun. Because talk about the sun and the earth. Stop stop the earth from moving. Hmm? And then uh, explain that this is the light of the sun. And then the shade will be fixed. But here the God of Islam is saying that he's, he's making a miracle. What is the miracle? He extends the shade. He extended the shade. If you go to the interpretation, chapter 25, verse 45. <clears throat> Hasn't you seen that the spread the shade after the sunrise and before the sunset? From the east and the west, if he would, he would made it, i.e., still with no sun. What does that mean? Simply, the shade is a creature by itself. And what the what the miracle here is about the shade extending? Well, this is silly. So he could not explain why the shade increased by size or decrease. He claimed that if he want, he can fix the shade. Uh, look from the beginning of chapter 39 yeah what about from the beginning <clears throat> you mean with the truth is that what you are talking about Yeah, there's things in the Quran you can't explain. 
unless you are a Christian because like when when the Quran says that Allah created the earth and the heaven uh, not with the truth actually by the truth what does that mean no answer oh how he created by the truth the only truth I know is the Messiah so did he create it by the Messiah but in Islam there's there's no no explanation for this I am from Asia. Can you give talk? Why a Christian nowadays not wearing veil? Why they should wear veil? Never was in Christianity you wear a veil. You see, they say to you, do you see how Mary, like in some uh, movies, they are wearing? This is the traditional clothing for a reason. Uh, you know, there's dust. I mean, can you imagine the roads 2,000 years ago? Go right now to the countryside and see what will happen to your, you know, to you. If you are not uh, driving in your car in Seffold, I mean, uh, hair covering was not only for men, uh, for women. It was for men too. It's 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 it because of the nature. Head covering have nothing to do with being decent. Men they cover their head in those uh, territories because of the dust, because of the dirt, because of the sun, strong sun. So. Uh, you know, have nothing to do really. Being, actually, in the Old Testament, the women who she was wearing a veil, they thought she was a whore because she was a veil, according to the Old Testament. Why? Because women who used to do prostitution, they used to cover their face because they don't want anyone to know them. So in the old days, actually, women who wear a veil, they are, uh, they are working in the business of prostitution. Covering the head is not a veil. You know? At the same time, the, the Bible says it clearly that the cover of the women is her hair, her glory is her hair. If it's about a cover, women she should cover her head when she go to the church. And what is the cover? Read the verses after it. It says the cover of the women is her hair, which means a woman uh, she should not shave her hair, her head. For this is her glory and this is her cover. God created the women with her cover. Same time, you know, is, is a woman, she is a bad woman because of her clothes? Eh, maybe sometime. I mean, some clothes is uh, inviting for something. But, you know, uh, cultures and countries are different. If you go to Brazil, uh, almost people wearing nothing. But doesn't mean that the woman, she is a whore. In the old days, actually until now, there's many places. Women, they, uh, uh, if you go to India, like as an example, uh, Hindus. Women, they show almost uh, her, her belly, their stomach, their back. Does that mean she's a whore? No, this is their tradition. This is their clothes. Correct? That's not because the woman is bad. So you wear bad clothes if you, if you wear it in the wrong place. And that means you are seeking attention. As an example, if you are a, if you are a person, uh, uh, if, if you live in an island, everybody is naked. And you wear a short, you are the bad one, not them. <laughs> you know, because everybody is naked and they don't, you know, their culture, this is they are naked, you know. So they don't see you naked because this they are naked. All of them, they are born and they stay like this. Until now, there's jungles, people who live in Brazil, they are totally naked. They don't wear clothes. So, I mean, they don't see it as something shameful. So nakedness, my friend, is the same as what Jesus said. It's not what go inside your mouth will make you dirty. It's what come from your mouth. So uh, uh, nakedness means nothing unless what is the purpose of it. As an example, if you, uh, let's say you are a father and you open the door of uh, your daughter's bedroom and you see her naked, are you going to get excited? No. Why? Because in your mind, you are seeing your daughter and right away you will not see a female. She's young. She is beautiful. You know, but you will not think about her unless you are a perverted man. So she is naked. Or you see your mom, you open the door at your mom, your mom, she's changing her clothes. What, are you going to get excited? She's naked, she's a woman, she's a female like everybody. So the reason you don't think about it in the wrong way, because you decide to block it, not to think about it in the wrong way. So it is not the nakedness make us bad, it's what we think.
You know what I mean? It is not the nakedness. It's what you think about it. Adam and Eve, they were in the heaven naked. Sin made them th see something they never noticed before. But they were naked. Your nakedness is having no honor. You're having no dignity. You're having uh, no shame. Then you are naked, really. It doesn't matter how much clothes you wear. In the Middle East, women, they wear uh, burqa, etc. But prostitution is number one business there. So wearing clothes will not change the fact, you know. If a woman she wear a bikini and a woman she wear burqa, doesn't doesn't mean a woman in a bikini she is a whore. Maybe the woman in the burqa she is, or vice versa. Actually, if you go and see a woman wearing burqa and she swim in the in the sea, and then when she get out she have no clothes underneath, and then her clothes will be more revealing from bikini from bikini. And will attract more men to look. Hmm? Uh, a guy he's saying adult adultery uh, in our religion have a, a penalty. What is the penalty for adultery? Let us ask Faris to show you the, the disability of those Abdul. Hey Faris, what is the punishment for a married woman adultery in the Quran? Listen to this, guys. I want to give you ten thousand years to give me the answer. What is the penalty for a married man or married woman in the Quran for adultery? That's a lie. The adultery, the, the, the whipping a person in the Quran is only for singles. You're a liar. The whole Quran forgot to mention what is the punishment for a married man. Death, the, the, the Faris is guessing. <laughs> Death, okay, show me the penalty, where? Show me where it says that the punishment of death in the Quran for adultery. Stupid book. We cannot find it. Why we cannot find it? Anyone knows why? Why we cannot find those verses? Who remember? <clears throat> Type in English, uh, Faris, unless you want me to block you. Why? Because the goat ate it. If the Muslim, they say to us that the, the Quran is preserved, right? But the fact the goat it was eating Quran. Actually, I heard that the favorite food for goats at that time it was Quran. It's like it's like a diet, you know. I don't know. <clears throat> and I find it very fishy, by the way, this story, that uh, such a story saying that the breast. Uh, feeding for adult ten time is eaten by the goat. I think the goat here is Aisha. I think the one who hide the story is somebody. He claim it's the goat, but it's not the goat. I mean, why the goat? She choose certain verses in the Quran to eat them. I mean, what she is licking. And same time, if the goat eat the Quran, shouldn't the Muslims know the, the verses? I mean, the Muslims they say we recite the Quran by heart. Okay, the goat ate the the gate. The goat ate the Quran. She did not eat your heart. Don't they say to us we recite the Quran by heart? How many of you heard the Muslim saying we Muslim recite, we memorize the Quran by heart? Okay, the goat she ate, hey, hey, look, like we have Faris here, we have Faris. Hey Faris, the goat she ate the Quran. Can you recite for us the verses by your heart? The goat she did not eat your heart. Did she? You Muslim keep saying the Quran. Preserve the Quran in our chest, in our chest. We know we memorize it. Okay, here we go. The gate, the goat ate the Quran, but she did not eat your memory, unless this is a memory goat. Yeah, I think the memory, the, the goat here is Aisha. I think Aisha she deleted them because the one is reporting the story is Aisha. I mean, look at this. The 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 <clears throat> guys. When I read the story, I don't think about it the same you do. Uh, I will show you. For, uh, for me, I live the story. So I close my eyes and I imagine this. Okay, Aisha, she said, when we were busy with the death of the prophet, a goat, and where, where was the paper, the, the, the verses? In a paper under my pillow. So where is the paper, where the Quran? Under my pillow, okay. Now, but Muhammad in her bed, he's dead. Muhammad in the same pillow. So how the goat 
Imagine this. This is mean. Muhammad is in the bed. He is dead. The goat she jump in the top of him. Meh, meh. And then she flipped Muhammad from the bed, flipped the pillow because in order to get the the the, the, the Quran from under the pillow, you have to flip Muhammad out. So imagine how funny the story is. The goat jump in the top of the bed, grab Muhammad from his ear, and she make him fall in the ground. And then she found the Quran unlucky. Now yummy, yummy, yummy. She put the tissue around her neck. She got the fork and the spoon and she start looking for the verses which she like and she start with breastfeeding This is why I find this story fishy I think somebody deleting them and they claiming that they, they want to blame the goat usually they blame the Jews uh, But in this case, it's a goat <clears throat> And by the way, if you're us, Faris, why are you Faris? Can you explain to us about the, the breastfeeding for adult? I mean, this is, will be hilarious if we can practice it. I want to convert to Islam right now. Actually, I told some people if we can open a business, but nobody want to join me in this project. I, I was thinking to open a drive through breastfeeding for adult in Las Vegas. And trust me, this will be a very successful business. Men from around the world, tourists, they drive it through and we look like you know let, let me let me draw it for you because you guys maybe your imagination is not good okay this is you know uh, please don't steal my ideas please I mean come on show respect for my ideas so this is the road and the cars they come here and then we make in the drive through open windows glass and women, they put their uh, 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 breast here and their nipples come out. So we make windows, you know. In every window, we have a woman, she have her nipples coming out. And then people, they drive with their cars. And they suck the nipples and they pay. And I think this will be a very, very successful business. If you think about it, but we need some, uh, you know, uh, some support. All right. Mm -hmm. I mean, why you want to stop? Why, etc. It's halal. The, the the point about it, by the way, it is halal. It's not like we are not breaking the law of Allah. Everything is halal. It is good, and we are good to go. But the problem is, I cannot find any investor. Why nafty? This is what, what Allah says. What's wrong with you guys? This is Allah. Are you saying Allah is nafty? They don't say breast. Actually, even Aisha, Aisha, she was saying, she was uh, uh, she was asking her nieces to do breastfeeding for adult for anyone want to meet with her. <clears throat> hmm? But as you see, I don't get enough support really to, to make this project uh, uh, to come to be true. And please don't steal my ideas. I don't want to go to Las Vegas and find one of you opening drive through uh, breastfeeding. Hmm? Don't, I will sue you. This is my idea. I have copyright over it. Yeah. I mean, how in the world a God, he says to his prophet that women, they should give their boobs to a strange man so they can associate with them. So if you want to associate with the Muslim women, according to Muhammad, you have to, uh, you know, uh, you have to suck her nipples. Ten different time in ten different days. That's why it says, do you see here it says uh, uh, ten time? You see it says ten time? So it's for adult. It's not for you know. It's for adult, and have to be done done ten time in ten different days until you are satisfied. Not like you, you put your mouth and you suck it for ten you know for five minutes. No, you have to be satisfied. All right, and uh, uh, and Aisha, she ordered her nieces. Yahya related, read with me this hadith. 
from Malik, from, 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 okay, then he said, suckle him ten times, so that can he come and see me? What? What, what? Aisha, she, a guy want to see her, a guy want to see her. But you cannot see Aisha alone, a man alone, a shame on you. So what the solution? She sent him to her sister or to her nieces, the bent in the, the one who is available, and she have to suckle the man ten times. And the guy he's explained why he could not see her because she did only three, she did not complete the ten. It have to be ten times until he is satisfied. Do you see it? The uh, when you see that it says Ummu Kathum nursed me three times. You think this is a kid? This is a guy. This is a man with a mustache. Uh, yeah. So you know, in, in, in Islamic practice, by the way, if they want to really, be, you see, this why this is today. There's no Muslims. Those are not Muslims. There's no Muslim will accept this. When when the 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 highest sheikh in Al Azhar University in Egypt, he made a fatwa. It's that says that a woman she go in the bus, she can give her breast to everybody in the bus. The whole Muslims they went so crazy. What are you talking about? He, he said to shut up. This don't make fun of me. You're making fun of the Prophet. This is what the Prophet said. This was Quran. This is Quran. This is not me. Why you are upset from me? And even when a woman she came to Muhammad, and she said to him, "There's a my husband is like upset because we have a strange man in the house, etc." Uh, Muhammad, he said to her, "Give him your boobs." The woman, she said, "And how I'm going to give him my boobs? And he is a growing man." <laughs> <laughs> Muhammad is the one who come with this solution thing all right Muhammad is the one who come with this solution give him your boobs so if uh, hey guys if your wife if you have somebody come into your house you don't like him and you want to stop that I mean being jealous let us say let your wife give him her boobs 10 different days in 10 different time and let him suck it until he is totally satisfied and trust me brother a brother trust me he will never look at your wife in a dirty way again obviously muhammad is making fun of his followers at that time what if my wife she don't look good Nobody will suckle her breast. Uh, but if your wife, she is pretty, she is young, I mean, man, you will find all the neighborhood knocking at your door. Assalamu alaikum, brother. Yes, brother. Is your wife here, brother? Why, brother? Because I want to do breast suckling, brother. And then like, okay, okay, uh, please take a ticket and sit down in the front of the house. And then you will find like 2,000 men sitting in the front of your house by the time you arrive home. All of them, they want to suckle your wife. And the Muslims are worry about women clothes, I mean, uh, uh, wearing the burqa. So, we, we, brother, it's haram to show your hair, but you can give your boobs to stranger. I remember, by the way, once I was, this is in the Middle East. A woman, she was uh, collecting the laundry from the roof, you know, like, you know, like now you have a, uh, uh, you know drying machine etc in old days you know like actually until now in the Middle East nobody have a dryer machine uh, so they you know they they put the laundry in the roof and I was in a higher uh, building than that woman uh, at that time I was like a kid I mean teenage and then the wind came all right no no actually sorry sorry not the wind not the wind uh, she went in the roof she went in the roof and she started collecting the uh, the laundry now look like she did not notice that we are we are in the balcony and we can see her so suddenly she looked at us and we are a bunch of kids we are teenage I mean we are maybe 14 15 so we made noise 
and the noise had nothing to do with her we are talking you know kids so she looked and she saw us and then because she saw us now she have to cover her hair but look what she did she left up her skirt showing her ass covering her hair and then those kids they went crazy in the beginning nobody was looking at her by the way but now after she put her skirt in the top of her head she left she left her skirt up all the way and she covered her head but now we see her panty I mean what the logic in this so now you cover your hair we see your ass and those kids they start whistling you know kids we are a teenage 14 15 years old they start like I said shut up you idiot until we that they went crazy I mean what you what you are doing and then she she grabbed more laundry she did not go home that downstairs right away she she put supposed to now she is covered she's halal huh she's halal and here we go Muhammad is doing the same you have to cover your hair but you can you cannot shake the hand with our wife by the way in Islam as you see you cannot shake hand with the women haram but you can shake her boobs and suck them because Muhammad he says the women she have ten private parts ten vagina uh, one of them her voice by the way and when she get married uh, she cover uh, one and when she died she covered the ten all right but anyway like you see here the woman she said to him how I'm going this is me in the Arab they never witnessed such a thing how I'm going to suck on him and he's a growing man even the women she could not believe it he said that and later after that Aisha and all the Muslim who they are like uh, they work let us say in a, a, a official office like Aisha visitors are coming hmm? so anytime when I go and see Aisha you have to suckle because now supposedly uh, if you suckle the niece of Aisha or her sister as if you suckle her this is the point so now Aisha she ordered Umm Kathum to suckle anyone want to enter upon her and this guy is saying he could not see Aisha why because she suckled him only three he did not complete the ten you have to finish the ten that's it nine will not work business is business And I like it how strict Muslims are. I mean, look, we are conservative. You cannot suckle the nipples of my wife nine times and you go and sit with her. No, you have to suckle her. After you suck the nipple of your wife ten times, do you think the guy, he will suckle only nipples? I mean, the guy, he put his head in the, in the lap of your wife. Sucking her breast, his hand is where? And what is next? Anyway, I feel sad sometimes. Actually, I look. I look like I'm born in the wrong timing. Why I'm not born in the time of the Prophet Muhammad? I mean, why? Here we go. Look at this guy. He got a three second in for free. Uh, a Muslim saying, six hundred ninety-four people. Good luck, loser." So 694 people is not good for you. Your prophet, he spent his life, he, he did not even get 70 followers. He immigrated with 70, including the slaves from Al Medina, after 13 years of preaching his Quran. And you are complaining about me having 680 or 90 uh, uh, after 15 minutes. And by the way, uh, I did not even announce it. This is what surprise. Correct, guys? I just finished the broadcast just an hour ago and then I after that I will open a new one what loser what loser Abdul do you know do you know what my videos are doing you should see how many people leave Islam you won't believe it brother brother 700 people watching me right now is bigger than your mosque is bigger than your mosque No, if I announce that I will be here, people will be a lot more here, right? But I did not plan for this. Anyway, actually, I'm not going to keep the video anyway. Uh, 
uh, we'll leave it there for people to download it for some time but we don't we don't keep them and you know I feel hungry now to be honest with you I don't know each time I see a hadith about suckling I feel hungry praise be to Allah and I want to see Aisha I insist I want to see Aisha there is a there's a lady from Egypt she is a TV host she asked the sheikh life on air she's okay so you are saying that if a Muslim woman she want to associate with men strange men she have to suckle them ten different times he said yes I said are you suggesting that I have to suckle all those men who work with me in the studio the audio engineer the lighting engineer the decorate engineer the the, the 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 one who bring coffee and the one who clean the floor and the director he said hey, everybody you have to suckle everybody Uh, the, uh, guys, hold on. There's a Muslim saying, uh, uh, I'm lying. I'm showing the hate in front of me, my friend. Abdul, why you are saying I'm lying? Okay, hold on, guys, hold on, hold on. Let me show you what this Abdul is saying. Let me show you. All his lies are disputed in the comment section only moran would talk to radio show and to debate a liar okay uh, i want you i want you to dispute this right now in the comment no problem explain to us why aisha she is ordering her sisters to do suckling for men in order to see her i'm waiting for your uh, suckling answer as long you claim that you can dispute my lies what lies guys what lies <laughs> what lies we are waiting for you brother why a woman she have to give her nipples to a strange man so she can see he can see Aisha so Aisha she have secretary and they are her nieces and their sisters and their job is to give their nipples so you can see Aisha explain to us Mr. Abdul hello brother I mean, what kind of religion this religion is? We have to suck the nipples of the sisters of Aisha so we can see Aisha. Okay, I want to see Aisha. Now, are you there, Abdul? You want the one you want to dispute? Dispute me? Hello. Hello. I insist I want to meet Aisha. I have a lot of respect to Aisha. But I have more interest in the sisters of Aisha. You people are not realize how much on the thing you are all. Comical, I explained why I would never... Hold on, hold on. I want to show you the comment. We are waiting for him to answer about the breastfeeding. Look what he gave us. I mean, look at the wisdom. Hold on, hold on. I mean, that's interesting, brother. Uh, you people are not realize how much on the frying you are all Frank Frank what the Frank uh, comical I explained why I should never call this fool why does not he debate an open forum is YouTube an open forum it's a board <laughs> if the biggest largest website for platform for people is not an open forum it's called YouTube. So what is this? We call it a bathroom. This is not open form. The coward is a God. I keep asking Allah to show me his face. He never show me his face. Correct, guys? Hey, show me your face, Allah. By the way, your Quran says that Allah never spoke except from behind the veil. How come Allah is not covered for you then? Read with me. I'm not the one who's saying that. Here we go. Your God, last name is Hijab, the same as Mimi Hijab. Look, look. It says, 
that he never Allah speak to a human or to an angel or anything except from behind the veil. Do you see it? Are you saying that Allah is a coward? Hmm? I challenge Allah to open a channel in YouTube. Thank you, thank you, Jeremy. Love you too, my friend. Love all those who say we love you. I apologize if I don't answer you. Sometimes I didn't notice you. And too many people saying, and same in, 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 in the face. By the way, I'm not opening Facebook because it became so annoying. Guys, if I open Facebook right now and show you how many texts I have, you will get scared. I will spend the first three hours just seeing who texts me. People say hi, say hello. We miss you. We love you. Uh, or we will kill you. I mean, this is the most comment. <laughs> So I'm not opening Facebook. I mean, I mean the the the, the Skype. Uh, it, it's too much. I, actually, I'm thinking to change even the 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 ID of the Skype. I don't know even how how many thousand people they 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 join my uh, uh, my account. I can't even count. And you know, one of you sent me a message. By the way, he expect me to answer right away. He thinks just I have a one. He think he ha I have only his or her or her message. I have in this. Only Allah knows how many messages I have for that. Now, <clears throat> Red, are you five? What does that mean, uh, uh, picture? What What does that mean? Are you five? Uh, make it clear for us, please. What do you mean? Are you five? Are you saying to us he is Aisha? The prophet she did marry Aisha at the age of six. So what do you mean five? Show respect, my friend. Aisha, she was the mother of the believers. And you're a prophet. He used to carry, carry her. Have you ever heard of a husband? He carry his wife in his shoulder and she is six years old kid. Oh, boy. The wife of the prophet on the shoulders of the prophet. And she is six years old. He will say, I'm lying. Let me show you the reference. Hold on. <clears throat> hmm? What is restriction? There is nothing. Muhammad he asked, he wished to marry. Uh, what's her name? You know what? I'm getting old. I know this. Unbelievable. Sometimes you want something, it's gone. Uh, anyway, uh, man. It's, it's going to come to my head. Hold on. But anyway, he he asked, he wished to marry. He said, she, he, she's an infant. She's just born. He said, this, if, 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 when this, this, this girl, she will be ready, I will have her. No, not Aisha. Aisha is a different story. <coughs> different story. I think it was uh, Fatima bin to Asad. Yeah, she was an infant. Fatima bin Tuasad. <clears throat> Any Muslim would like to say anything? Well, the Quran says somebody is asking about Muslims going to hell. According to Quran, every Muslim is going to hell. وَمَا مِنْكُمُ إِلَّا وَارِدُهَا Chapter 19, verse number 71. The Muslim translation is wrong here. It says, approach it. It's a lie. If we go to the interpretation, chapter 19, 71. 19, 71. <clears throat> Do you see it, guys? Not a single one of you Muslims, but he will enter, i.e. hell. Do you see it, guys? Do you see it? This is the interpretation of the cousin of Muhammad himself. Not a single one of you, i.e. will enter it, i.e. hell.
Did you hear about something from Big Sheikh Sayyid Ahmed Hassan Al Gabanshi? No, I don't know who's this guy. Is a big Sheikh? What does that mean? He shake a lot. I know this guy. I never heard of him. Do you see? According to the Quran, every one of you will enter hell, including Muhammad. What do you say? Never will see this person in person. Why do you want to see me in person, my friend? Is that a dating website? I mean, are they here people for date? Why you want to see me in person? Me, myself, I get scared when I see myself in person. Once, you know, uh, when I bought this house uh, a long time ago, like a century ago, uh, I entered the bedroom. There was a mirror behind the door. I was closing the door, and suddenly I saw myself. I get scared. I run. You know, like, who? Scary. Why? A mirror in my house? I get scared. Why you want to scare them? Why you are concentrating about seeing me with moderators? And there are hundreds of Muslims will debate him. You are right. This is what is missing because they cannot see me. Muslims, their answers does not come unless they can see you, brother. True story. Actually, I, this is a true story, by the way, from Sahih Bukhari. I'll tell you, brother, true story. When an Arab, he says to you, brother, this is true story. It's me from, 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 from the zucchini land. A brother, when I go to do fishing, brother, I don't take any fishing tool with me, brother. I look at the water, fish die, brother. This is a very true story. Why Muslims keep talking about, you know, want to see you? What about answering me? Like, here we go. You're crying, saying all of you will enter hell. I want to know how is that going to be? Hmm? I am sure you are a very handsome man. Well, I don't know. Uh, uh, according to... Uh, uh, they told me that the woman she gave... Uh, she was helping my mother with delivery. Uh, she had heart attack right away. And then the one who hauled me after she died, because she fell in the ground, the one who hauled me after that, she died too. And then it, they gave her, you know, I mean, they were giving me to a person, to a person. And then, like, we have a, the, the emergency car was coming, like, we, 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 we. Why? Because CP is just born. And this is, by the way, true story. Sahih al-Bukhari. But anyway, brother, the way we made them come back to life, brother, we ordered them to do breast video for adult, brother. This is how, brother, we make all those women who died during my giving birth, brother, they did the breast treaty for adult. Never get a fair shake. Ask any Muslims. Call laughable. You know, I called the Dean show. They did not let me go through. I changed the name Muslim. I will call you. Don't call me. Those who claim to have knowledge, they run away. <sighs> okay. Uh, yeah, <laughs> look, look what Kafir he said. The Kafir is smart. Look what Kafir, he remembers something important. Anyone remember why the chapter of Al-Baqarah, which means the cow in the Quran, why the chapter of the cow called the cow? Who remember? Why this chapter was called the cow? Anyone knows? Because according to the Quran, Allah, he made people raised from death by beating them by beef. I'm serious. <coughs> hmm? 
look, look, hold on, look, look what this guy he said. I like it when the Muslims they call me names and look at the Muslim here. Uh, ZB, you are here, me. You are you, you hear me, coward? No, I don't hear you. It's a text. Hip, 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 liar. I, I, I thought my English is bad, but now I, you make me feel better. Someone need to smash those eggs. Hold on, what eggs? Are you talking about the rooster who lay eggs? Have you ever heard of a rooster lay eggs only in Islam, brother? And by the way, as long as we are talking about rooster, do you want me to show you the reference that your God he set in a rooster? Let it go. Okay, those eggs in your rusty, empty, loud, echo skull head of yours, just limb the egg boy did. <laughs> As long you are talking about eggs, you see, you inspired me. Do you know that the, the prophet, he said that shaitan, he lay eggs? And look what the Muslims, they translate. They did not give a translation, really. He says, don't be the first to enter the market neither the last because is the arena of shaitan it doesn't say that liars it says because he lay his eggs shaitan he lay his eggs read it لا تكن اول من يدخل السوق ولا اخر من يخرج منها فيها بعض الشيطان فيها بعض الشيطان وفرخ satan he lay his eggs and their eggs even hatches they hatched See, Abdul, inspire me. You know, anything you Muslim, you say to me, give me three words, I will give you a story about your prophet and it will make you ashamed of him. Try again. Once I made a challenge for the Muslims. So he said to me, okay, I will give you a challenge about give me three words and uh, I will give him a story about his prophet. So he mentioned the word, he said, uh, uh, I know what the sentence, but it had three words, but have a microwave. Microwave I said, okay, I mean, you know, make make a story about the microwave. I said, I can. Here we go. You're a prophet, he says. If you wish to have a kid in heaven, you will carry it and you will deliver it in less than an hour. And he's the boy will be born and his teeth will be growing. You have teeth. This is the Islamic microwave. Do you see it? Now imagine those guys who they are speaking to me, insulting me now in heaven, and Zakir Naik guys in heaven now. And Zakir Naik, his belly is getting big. And I say, hey, brother Zakir, I met him in heaven because I'm going to convert to Islam just a second before I die. True story. So I, I meet Zakir Naik, and Zakir Naik, his belly is so big. I mean, like, Zakir Naik, brother, what happened? Brother Tittab, I, the prophet, he said, if you want to have a baby in the heaven, you can desire it and you can deliver it in less than an hour and he will have teeth. And brother, and now you will deliver the baby? Absolutely. Uh, brother, but where the baby will come out from? Hey, Fee, can you tell me how you will get a bread net and you will deliver the baby from where? Are you there, Fee? I will give you three options. You will deliver the baby from your anus, from your nose, from your ears. Where the baby will come from? You are a man. A man delivering a baby. We will come from where? Maybe you will lay him as eggs. The Frank is saying from the an anus. Uh, Frank, I don't agree with you. Because this is really hurt. <laughs> Allah is all merciful. We'll never allow that, brother. <laughs> uh, Christian Prince, you don't understand what I'm talking about. No, I don't understand, brother. Uh, understanding the Quran is easier than understanding you. Especially when your prophet he says, brother, you can eat alone at house. It's not a sin. Who remember what chapter it is? What chapter is speaking? You can eat alone in the house. 
Anyone remember? Who remember? Who remember? What chapter it says that Allah teaching us wisdom that we can eat alone at home? Chapter 24, verse what? 23. Ah, the admin saying 23. Ah, 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 ah. The admin, you are fired. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh. The brother, I really, really, I enjoy the wisdom. Before, I do not know that I can eat in my house, especially if I'm blind or I am lame. I cannot walk correctly. Or uh, I eat. I can eat in my mother house. I mean, that's deep. That's that's deep. I think Allah He spent like a thousand century thinking about this verse. It's no fault. No fault for a blind man. Or no fault for the one who is born lame. Or no fault. For the one who have illness, no fault anyway in yourself. I mean, so why you are counting all of those? You just say no, no, no fault in yourself. As long as this is this is including everybody. <laughs> what about we say no fault if you are single, no fault if you are married, no fault if you have one finger. I mean, what is that? Just it, it, it's just say no fault in you. That's it. As long as everybody is included. But anyway, no fault in what? All of this is what? No fault on you. No fault if you are blind. If you eat in your house. Listen, Abdul, usually blind people eat where? I mean, before Islam. Why Allah, he need to make this verse? If I am blind and I want to eat, are you saying to me before Islam it was haram? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. And then look at the wisdom here. I mean, the wisdom is not over yet. You no fault on if you to eat in your brother house, your mother house, your father house. We want more details. More, more, more details. Your uncle house from your mom's side. Your uncle house from your mother's from your dad's side. And then he continue. Or to eat in any house, you have the key of it. So if a guy he is a maintenance in an apartment building, he can eat from all those apartments. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Then, brother, brother, no blame on you. Here, like here, that like you know, always in the movies, like there's a top sentence which like the top wisdom prophet. He's talking now. Allah is talking. This is like a. This is the core wisdom statement. Like here, here is the ah, like a nuke, like a nuke explosion. Look at this. There's no plane on you. Whether you eat in a company or alone. Me. That's deep. That's deep. I was afraid. That if I eat alone, I'm committing a big sin. No sin. No sin. If you eat alone or together or apart. <laughs> mean. Brother. I was going just to get married because I thought it's a sin to eat alone. Thank you, Allah. Now you saved my life. I was going to have a mother-in-law. Four of them, brother. True story. I mean, look at this verse. You can tell right away that this is cannot be. And Allah, he changed and he wanted to make Quran like this. I'm telling you, I'm serious. He, you cannot make Quran like this. You, you cannot, I'm telling you. Try, try, okay, try. Try. Make an article right now. And send it to to the to the fake news uh, station CNN, and tell them, no sin on you to eat alone or apart. Tell them I want to publish it. If they make fun of you, get them busted. Say that the Prophet Muhammad says so, and right away they will publish it, and they will say, wow. If you are not convinced that 
the one who made this book is beyond wisdom I mean this is enough <clears throat> Anyway, guys. Anyway, guys. Anyway, let us uh, yeah, enough wisdom for today. I'm getting tired of the wisdom. This is too much wisdom for one day. This is a lot of wisdom. And because now there's no sin on me, if I eat alone, I'm going to leave you and eat alone. I will do yummy yummy alone. You believe it? I will do yummy yummy without you invited no more. I used to invite you. Okay, but now who need you? Allah, He told me it's no sin. No sin. Man, 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 man. Uh, you want to accompany me? Hmm. My friend, I know there is a restaurant in the corner of my street. I think you are better going there. Uh, uh, because uh, I have Arabian food. It's not suitable for a human use, brother. I'm just joking. Actually, our food is very good. <laughs> uh, you know, once I was invited to an Indian uh, house. I, I love Indian people, by the way. They are very nice people. Uh, this, this guy, he's a doctor. And uh, his wife, she is a wonderful woman. Now, because they are so excited to have me, they need they asked me what you like to eat you know and i said Any, anything i know and i told the guy please don't because i i know that indian they eat too much spice right so i told him don't put too much i mean he said don't you like don't like to eat at all i said no 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 i like spice but little so now they put for me the food is cooked for me little you know what little Okay, so I was eating, and I don't want to cause a problem between the guy and his wife. I thought if I say something, he might fight with his wife about this food. So I was drinking water more than food. I asked him to bring water next to me, and I was drinking and then drinking. He said, "You are drinking water a lot." I said, "This is this is how we do it." <laughs> and I was a sp you know, I was a sweating. It's like I I felt like I am in the uh, uh, I am in the jungles of Brazil. I feel like rain in my head. Literally, I'm sweating. He said, "You are sweating too much. Are you okay?" I said, yeah. <clears throat> "I can't even answer. I can't even talk. I can't even open my mouth. <laughs> I'm drinking water, <laughs> like 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 if you open a shower and you open your mouth in the shower, I'm burning inside. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I feel the smoke is coming from my eyes, from my ears, and the, he, and he and his, his wife. They're very nice people. They keep saying to me, "You like it, right?" <laughs> very good. <laughs> perfect perfect you know oh boy i went home and i have no idea what to do i drank uh, uh, uh olive oil juice i mean you name it just to stop my my lips oh boy my lips i don't feel my lips how those people they can eat the spice they supposedly they put little it's not really it's not like you know their dish is different supposedly my, my dish is little spice only my lips i don't feel them they are like my, my lips is like part by them by their own like they are flying in the wind i can't feel anything my my tongue is red my throat my voice is gone uh, uh i'm not going to tell you what happened in the bathroom that, that is a secret <laughs> yeah but by the way their food is very delicious but you have to be careful with the with the spice I think because they eat to spice in early age, so it doesn't affect them. And the more you eat of that, of it, you need more because spice killed. Uh, what do you call them? Those things in your in your tongue, the one you taste food with them. You know, like there is a little sensors in your mouth. They are the one who is in charge of tasting the food. So the more spice you eat, the less sense you will have in your tongue, and that make them eat more spice, so they can feel it the same way it was before. Yeah, so <clears throat> very nice people, very nice people. I love Indian people, very nice. And uh, I, I told them after I, uh, like later, you know, I told them about what happened. They said, we noticed, but you don't want to talk, you don't want to say. That's why we were bringing you water. I mean, <laughs> oh boy.
uh, mild curry with milk yeah, I don't know uh, anyway you know uh, Indian food is very delicious by the way very very nice but spice there are some people they eat spice just a spice imagine not only in India I mean there's even some in the Middle East but so if you are used to it I mean it doesn't hurt you uh, there's there's people they make sandwich of spice that there's nothing inside the sandwich except spice no? Halal pork is the best <coughs> Anyway look like we are out of Abdul So guys uh, just to uh, Summarize this uh, topic today. Uh, we were talking about David Wood saying he will not make more videos I don't know. Maybe he's, he's joking or not. I, I don't know. Maybe this is a joke of 1st of April Maybe maybe I should make a video like this. I'm leaving YouTube hey CP where are you going to the I'm going to the moon brother Allah he sent me al burak the flying mule I will go to heaven and there I will meet with Moses and Moses he will come to me and he will say is Khabibi Christian Prince Khabibi where are you been Khabibi he said Moses I was studying Quran and Moses will say to me, Habibi, Quran, Quran, you study Quran? Is that the book, Habibi? It says there's no sin to eat by yourself. And I say, Yes, how you know, Moses? He said, Habibi, I'm Moses, I know everything. <laughs> hey, by the way, Muslims, how Moses and Adam they met together in heaven? I'm, I'm, I'm serious. I want to know. I mean, uh, how, I thought nobody in heaven right now except Jesus. Moses and Adam, they have a debate. Where? That's astonishing. Is that legal? Is that legal? To meet Moses after he died? And to meet Adam after he died. Huh? So you can imagine here, Moses and Adam they are debating. And Moses he said to Adam, Habibi Adam, Habibi, because of you, Habibi, you made us go out of paradise. And because of you, Habibi, you made us out of paradise, and now we come sin. And Adam, because Adam is an Arab, by the way, not like a Jew. Huh? He's not a Jew, he's an Arab. That's why when he you remember when Adam he sneezed. He said, Alhamdulillah. He did not say, uh, uh, you know, like uh, in Hebrew, like uh, 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 praise to be God, uh, uh, Elohim. No, he said, uh, uh, I know, Alhamdulillah. So Adam, the Arab, he answered Moses, the Jew. He said, Moses, Moses. Uh, by the way, hold on. I made a mistake. I have, I have to admit, Adam is not an Arab. He is Indian. Anyone remember why? When Adam he landed, where he landed according to Islam? Who remember? Anyone remember? In India, in India, which is Sri Lanka today. According to Muslims, Adam he landed in India, and where is where where Eve she landed? Anyone knows? Where Eve she landed? Who remember? I mean, look what happened. Adam he landed in India, Sri Lanka, and uh, uh, and Eve where? Houston? No. New York? Boston? No. In Yemen. Uh, hold on, hold on. Let me show you the map. This is really, I mean, this is uh, surprising. I mean, how they met after that? Praise be to Allah, brother. Hold on, hold on. I 
I hate it when I type and then I notice I'm typing in Arabic. All right, brother. We are using now Google, peace upon him. All right. So this is what happened. <clears throat> A brother Allah he sent Adam here let us zoom more here in Sri Lanka and then Allah he ordered Adam to go walking crossing the sea walking yeah you can do that so he crossed the sea and he went all the way here and then he went to Iran and then he went to Iraq and then he went to uh, 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 Saudi Arabia and he, oops he arrived to Mecca but the surprise surprise Allah he made Eve land in Yemen now how they met who want to find the answer no screen that's my fault again unbelievable okay thank you for telling me no screen hold on what if i am doing that on purpose maybe i'm doing that on purpose no screen okay let us do it again allah he made adam land in sri lanka this is sri lanka look at sri lanka and then allah he ordered adam to do hajj so Adam, he crossed the sea from the island of Sri Lanka, brother, and he went all the way to India, and he stopped for a few days in Mumbai, and then he went to Delhi, and then he did shopping in uh, Islamabad, and then he uh, went uh, and he, uh, he did, uh, you know, uh, some uh, spice shopping in his way, and he, he uh, buy some curry, and then he went to Saudi Arabia, and brother, he arrived all the way here in Mecca. This is the Islamic story. Allah, he sent Adam in Sri Lanka, but he sent Eve in Yemen, here. Now the bigger question, brother, how Adam and Eve, they met after Allah, he separated them? Any Muslim can tell us? What do you mean no screen? You can see the screen. The screen is there. You are playing me now, huh? Don't make don't me uh, make me pray to Allah to curse you. There's a guy I cursed him, and Allah he made him look like me. You believe it or not? True story. This is how severe the curse of Allah. He woke up in the morning. He was handsome, good looking. He woke up in the morning. He looked exactly like Christian Prince. I'm telling you, the curse of Allah is extremely harsh. Imagine you sleep as a good-looking person. You wake up in the morning like, oh, I look like Christian Prince, so blazing. And that's it. Two words. Now look at this. So how Eve and Adam, they met? Any Muslim can tell us. Adam is located here, brother. In Sri Lanka, Eve is located here, brother, in Yemen. How they met? I will give you three options. Social network, like Twitter, Facebook. <laughs> true story, true story. <coughs> And by the way, how Adam he did Hajj walking from Sri Lanka. Let me zoom in Sri Lanka. Can you really walk in Sri Lanka? You know, I mean, can you, brother? How you can walk? This is an island. How you can walk from here to Saudi Arabia? This is the first guy in the earth. There's no ship, there's no boat, there's no cruise. How this guy he went from Sri Lanka to Saudi Arabia? 
No GBS. Huh? How are you, Yasin? Yasin, are you okay, Yasin? Yasin, you have an answer. Yasin, how Adam he was able to cross Sri Lanka and go all the way to Saudi Arabia, Mr. Yasin. Look like you are a very wise. But by the way, do you know what Yasin mean? Guys, this guy, his name is Yasin. Do you think even he knew what his name mean? What Yasin mean? Why you are calling yourself Yasin? I bet you he do not know what his name mean. Yasin. So do you know what your name mean? Moon God. You are the moon god. Yeah, is a word mean God. Sin is the moon god. This is where the word sin is coming from. And this is can be found in chapter 36, verse number one in the Quran. Yasin. And the Muslims, when they explain this verse, they say Allah knows best what He meant by this verse. <laughs> and every Muslim tried to give his own explanation, because simply this is not an Arabic word, and Muhammad he stole it, but he have no idea what does that mean. Yasin simply is a word coming from the Syriac language. Actually, even Ibn Abbas he agree. It's coming from the Syriac language. Do you see it? Yes, it's an Aramaic. The thief Muhammad. Why? Why in the Quran we have an Aramaic word, man, brother? And then you see at the Jalalain saying, brother, yes, Allah knows best what he meant by those letters, brother. That's deep. I mean, look at this interpretation. I think now it's explained. Don't you love Muslim scholars when they say Allah knows best? <laughs> Let me, brother, explain to you the verse. Allah knows best what this verse means. And now I am a scholar. Hmm. <clears throat> Uh. Yasin, are you there, Yasin? What what happened, Yasin? I think he went to change his name. He don't like it no more. After I told him that his name means the moon god. But yeah, Fahim. He called me once and he was playing to me a love song. And they say to you, there is no gays in the Middle East. I mean, a guy calling a guy and he playing for him a love song. How are you, Fahim? Have you ever heard of this before? He called me, and he's playing for me, not, for, not only once, once, twice, you know? He called me, I answer, and he's playing for me love songs. He's in love. Yeah, you see? Uh, he remember. Uh, Fahim, he remember. Okay. <clears throat> No, he is a Muslim. Uh, so, Yasin, are you there? What do you want to say to us, Yasin? Is there something you want to say? Yasin, I'm willing to open my Skype if you are serious to call me. Do you want to call me, Yasin? What do you think, guys? Do you want to hear Yasin to see if he is, the, is a person who have answer? Uh, Yasin, he's saying CP is a kid. Uh, Yasin, what is the age of a kid according to Islam? Look, Yasin, he said here, let me show you. You see, we are democratic. We believe in democracy, brother. We learned that from the Prophet Muhammad himself. He said, CB is a kid. Hey, Yasin, what is the age of a kid according to Islam? Are you there, Yasin? As long as you are calling me a kid. What does that mean? What, what, nine, nine, nine? So why your Prophet, he married nine years, six years old kid? Guys, did you see what did you see what the brother Yasin he said? Look, look, look. He said, the brother, I asked him what is the age of a kid in Islam? He says nine. So you're a prophet, he married a child, not even a kid. She is six. 
So how you explain to us that uh, Yasin? You know, Yasin, I think by the end of this video, you will say your mommy. Oh, mommy. Oh, mommy, mommy blue. CP gave me flu. Oh, mommy. Oh, mommy, mommy blue. Oh, look, 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 look. There's a guy in the chat. His name is Israel Forever. Are you crazy? You would drive the Abdul crazy now. And they will start throwing rocks at me. Uh, <clears throat> you know, in the, in the Middle East, we watch, you know, Arabic news. I mean, Arabic news is the most funny news ever. And they keep calling the Israeli coward. The Israeli coward. Okay. And we are going to free Jerusalem. Okay, well, who's the coward? Jerusalem is just a few miles away. I mean, go and take it. Uh, if you are, if they are the coward and you are the brave, go and take it, brother. Oh boy. I remember first time I saw a Jew, I was looking like, do he have a tail or something? Or he looked like a monkey? Because remember, brother, Allah don't lie. Allah in the Quran, he says, Allah, he cursed the Jews and he made them pigs and monkeys. I was looking like, where is the pigs? Where is the pigs? You know, I saw Jewish women, they are really beautiful. They are not pigs or monkeys. I have to be honest, once I saw a woman, her nose was really weird. Right? Maybe Allah was right about them. <laughs> Allah, he made the Jewish pigs and monkeys? Really? Must be true story. Allah never lied, brother. And why Allah, he made them pigs and monkeys, brother? Brother, because they did fishing on Saturday. If, 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 if. Because they did fishing on Saturday, Allah made them pigs and monkeys. So if you rape a child, Allah don't make you a pig or a monkey. If you kill a human being, Allah don't make you a pig or a monkey. If you, uh, I mean, you commit all kinds of crimes, Allah will not make you a pig or a monkey. But if you do fishing in Saturday, brother, Allah will make you a pig. A brother, I have to tell you this true story. I have a neighbor, a brother, he is a Jew. In the other Saturday, I saw him taking his truck. I asked him, I felt suspicious about him. I said, where are you going? I always watch them, brother. Huh? I said, where are you going? He said, I'm going to do fishing, brother. When he came afternoon, brother, he opened the door of his trunk. And guess what, brother? When he put his foot in the ground, I did not see a foot of a, a, of a human being. I saw a foot of a monkey. And by the way, this is a true story. I know that the kuffar they will say to you is not a true story. I saw it with my own eyes. I swear by yes, Arafat, this is true. I mean, who weaker than this? And brother, according to Muhammad, this is Netanyahu when he was a kid. Hey brother, what happened to Netanyahu today? <laughs> I mean, I am really convinced of Islam, brother. I mean, it must be a true story. <coughs> hmm? Hey Netanyahu, I mean, look at his eyes, brother. What is that? Are they green or what? They are hazel? Mean. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, true story, true story. I mean, I'm convinced, really. Uh, by the way, uh, Muslims, Allah, he cursed the Jews. Why the Jews are so smart? Scientists, engineers, technology, rich, business. I mean, they are the top in everything. Allah cursed them, but they are the top in everything. I mean, what, what kind of curse? Please, Allah, can you curse me, brother? <laughs> so Allah, he cursed the Jews. Huh? And the Muslims, their prayer, they say every day, five times a day, please, Allah, don't make us dark, the lost Christians or the cursed Jews, five times a day. If those are the cursed one, who is the blessed one? Hmm?
אין יא אבדול? אין By the way, Muhammad, he not only he think that Jews are Allah, he made them pigs and monkeys. Anyone remember what he made them to? Anyone remember? Show you that Muhammad is the biggest smart person in history. I mean, his IQ is beyond your understanding. <clears throat> Muhammad, he noticed. That rats, by the way, here, here you notice how Muhammad, he analyzes. I mean, he is really smart. He watch carefully and he analyzes what he say. So he saw a rat and this rat, he don't drink, she camel. And because the Jews are not allowed to drink the she camel, Muhammad, he noticed that the Jews must be rats and the rats must be Jews. Look at this hadith. The Prophet of Allah said, a group of Israeli lost. Nobody knows what they did. Nobody knows. Not even Muhammad. You, look, look at the action here. I mean, look at the suspense. He did not say, I know what they did. No, no. He's humble. But by the way, the Prophet, he knew. But I mean, he didn't want to tell. I mean, this is for action and suspense. Nobody knows what they did. You can put the back of the music, like behind this, like, nobody knows what they did all Muslims say I mean okay now but I did not see them except that they were cursed and changed into rats mean I never thought about this before and Muhammad now he want to give you the reasoning look at the reasoning for if you put milk of a she camel in a front of a rat it will not drink it but if you drink if you put a milk of a sheep she will drink it takbir wow now Based in Muhammad analyze to what happened, Muhammad he come with the conclusion that there is a similarity between the Jew and this rat. Why? Because the rat don't drink she camel, the Jew don't drink she camel. That's mean he was a Jew and Allah make him a rat. Which means this rat is an Orthodox Jew, according to Muhammad. I mean, imagine you became a rat now, but still you are Orthodox Jews. I mean, look how conservative this rat is. Still, he's a practice in the law of Moses. <laughs> Unbelievable. Ah, oh, Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad, you are the best prophet ever, brother. I mean, I, I wish I have a prophet like you. How in the world, Muhammad, he come with this? Mean. That's deep. How? What? I'm telling you, you people are missing a lot of knowledge and you need really a true prophet who can tell you stories no one ever told before bedtime. And because now it's bedtime for more, many of you, I have to go. I want to say thank you guys for being here. This video will not stay really uh, uh, there. Nothing much there, actually. I just want to have a conversation with you. But remember, let the Muslims flag your channels. That will make you more excited and make you see that you are doing the right thing. Uh, they flag one, they delete one, open 10, 20, 30. It's for free. For free. Enjoy it. Thank you guys for being here. And uh, if you don't subscribe, I'm going to curse Allah, ask Allah to curse you and make you a rat. To use the mice in your hand, but then cursing you and turn you into a rat. Which one you want? Use your mice and hit the, and, and click at like and share, or I ask Allah to curse you and turn you into a rat.
and then you will not drink the she camel milk huh <laughs> and then the prophet after me will come his name is Ahmad he will tell you that you are a rat who is uh, cursed by Christian prince so brother click uh, like uh, click subscribe uh, buy your mice otherwise I will make you a rat thank you very much this is a true story and clear warning from Allah thank you may the Lord bless you all and until we see you again Christ is Lord Islam is a joke my friend and we will not be part of it thank you very much take care and God bless bye bye